What is up, everyone? It's Kanan. It's Jesse. And we are the Geeky Saying Couple. And finally, the day has arrived. We are reacting to the Ruby Volume 9 trailer. This has been a long time coming. I, this is the longest hiatus ever. And we made it. So give yourself a big round of applause. You made it through the Ruby Volume 8 to Volume 9 hiatus. <laughs> this has been an extremely long day for us because this dropped at noon and we were both at work and we had to avoid this thing until we got home. It's after 8 p.m. We're tired, but we are going to be watching this. We're going to go over it a little bit. I don't know if this will be as long as our other analysis and all that, but wow, I messed that up big time. But uh, yeah, so first time seeing this, we've avoided it all day. Um, before, real quick, we do, we do know because the Ruby Twitter did post it before the trailer that Ruby is moving to Crunchyroll. Um, volume 9 starts on February 18th, so less than a month. Um, Rooster Teeth has already confirmed that reactions are still going to be how they've always been. <laughs> <coughs> we'll see. Hopefully we can still react to it for you guys. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that's the big news. It's going to Crunchyroll. Jess is shaking her leg. She's ready to go. So as always, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, click that like button, leave a comment. Let's go. Where am I? I've seen this before. Fairy tale. Let's try Wait, that was one of the screenshots. Of wow, that's pretty. Ruby made friends with a tiny mouse. Blake and I got caught by killer mines. And you got your arm stolen by, by a talking raccoon riding on a purple wagon filled with trash. <laughs> okay. That. Well, there's another wise moment. Okay, we've seen that in a screenshot. Chess. We want to go home. And we believe the tree can get us there. The tree is going to be important. Approaching. But there's there's the Cheshire tree. Cat. You do not go to the tree. The tree goes to you, unless of course you're me. Wow. You see, not even a little bit. <laughs> what are you? Oh, that's creepy. Oh, right. Okay. So Yang is on a rickety bridge. So. <gasps> what are you that's Beacon be? Ruby. Oh, Nato. Oh, Penny. Who is that? We've seen this screen. See? Okay. Wow. Really quick. Okay. Okay. If you don't. That's what. Maybe that's when Weiss tells her about Penny. That got very dark really fast. <laughs> okay. <coughs> okay, I'm going to I'm going to mute this just so if the video accidentally starts playing again, um, we won't record any audio. Okay. Okay, so we've seen this before. This is Ever After, um, the new the world that they have found themselves into. Um we learned in this trailer that the tree is definitely going to be important. They think it's the key to getting back. I I knew the tree was going to be important. I don't know. I still don't know if it's based off Yggdrasil, but it might be. Um, we've got the Candyland looking world, right, or world area right here. you got the place with all the fluorescent mushrooms that we've already seen. Um, oh yeah, we missed a couple of things. They happen so... Like, I hate it when they do this. Like, things... Okay, I can't find them. Um, but a few of those um, screens we had already seen, like... Um, it was after that. Oh, it was? Oh, it is. Okay. So, they actually released this screenshot yesterday. Um, a very autumn-looking... Like, I'm surprised there's a full-on town in this. Actually, I think we can take our headsets off now. <coughs> um, so this is a full-on town in this new world. Um, I think I said that the sky reminded me of Mountain Dew. 
<laughs> but um, a very autumn looking. And I said, you know, I still want to hope that the ghosts of the dead theory is still real. This is very Pyrrha looking to me. Her eyes were green. And like, she was always associated with an autumn leaf. But I don't, I don't know if that's it. Um, now this is really pretty. This looks like something I've seen in like a Final Fantasy game. Um, a very big fluorescent mushrooms and all kinds of plants. It looks like okay, right here. This is where uh, we that pile of leaves. Yeah, that's the thing with the three eyes that says "Who are you?" I don't know if this is supposed to be the caterpillar from uh, Alice Wonderland because, you know, the, the way it looks and all that. Um, Ruby's by herself, so I'm guessing this is after Weiss, uh, Blake, and Yang have been shrunk. Um, of course, we have got... You have the video time to load up. Um, we have got Ruby meeting Little, which we <laughs> have seen already. Okay, this next one is very, very interesting. <laughs> Weiss and Blake have been captured by a bunch of mice, which we... This is obviously Little's village. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, in the background, there's their weapons. Um, so it looks like there's all kinds of, of mice. Um, they look like they're about to burn them at the stake or something. Um, Weiss mentioned killer vines, and they're definitely wrapped up with vines, so I don't know if these mice can control the vines <laughs> Or whatever. Or they work. Like, <laughs> yeah. they listen to them. I don't... Who knows? Um, but this kind of leads to the thought that Blake and Weiss find each other first. And this is what's going to lead Ruby to finding them. So, is Yang the last one they find? That'd be kind of ironic, Yang being the first to fall and the last to be reunited with everybody. Um, okay, so yeah, apparently Yang gets her arm stolen and this looks like a toy soldier oh, it almost reminds me of a card soldier from the queen of hearts it kind of does because the red and all that look in the background and, yeah like the was... like the the diamond pattern she had that so this yeah but like what these are like toy people in the background and so of course a this toy is... village i don't know babes in toyland um, so yeah, Yang wrestles her arm from these things. She and, looks so done. Yeah, she's she's <laughs> she's already done with uh, this island. <laughs> like, so she had her arm stolen from apparently a raccoon that was pulling a what they say a, a wagon. A wagon full with a of, pile of trash. Yeah. <laughs> um, Weiss's expression just. Yeah, because Weiss Ooh. is like, let's be logical about where we are, and like. Pretty much, I think she's registering what she that. just said. Yeah. She's that. Yeah. <laughs> but I can already see this is going to become the next Weiss meme, because it seems like Weiss always has the moments where people turn into memes. So this is going to be everybody's new... This uh, is the next tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> um, or shoot thing. So I'm guessing this is the raccoon. Whoops. Going a little too far. That stole Yang's army. Look... It looks like he's like a traveling salesman or something. Like it looks like he's probably because stuff. it makes sense. This is the, that's the wagon. So so when Yang said trash, she didn't mean literal trash. She probably just meant that his wares are probably trash. Everything's like yeah. whatever shiny <laughs> thing they could find. I just thought of something. What was the last Marvel movie we ever watched? Infinity War. I think so. A raccoon that stole Yang's arm. Oh, I'm going to get that <laughs> arm. Did Rooster Teeth, did Kruby throw in an MCU joke? Rocket. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past for all the stuff that's been in there. Did, oh, whoops. Did they literally put in an MCU? Okay, so we've seen this as well. The first thing I thought of when I saw this was, this is very Wonderland-like. Like when Alice is running from the queen. <laughs> yes. this. Where everything changes kind of like that, so. Yeah, this looks very, like, Madhouse 
Wonderland, like, and the Cheshire Cat is there, which we don't also, know if that's its name, but that's what we're calling the, it. Um, the famous painting. <coughs> yeah. Where the steps go all over different directions. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. So now we've got this character. Is this the Queen of Hearts? There's a heart in this chair. So, is this the Queen of Hearts? It could be. So, it looks like Ruby is having to play chess. And, oh my gosh, I just now noticed. Weiss, Blake, and Yang are taking part. And there's Little. So, I wonder if Little takes part in it as well. So, maybe I th- think maybe my theory was right. Yeah. Little does take part. Uh, or at least that's... Uh, it decided... Uh, they decided to go down... The, we're like... No, what this kind of reminds me of it. Kind of reminds me of um, the Sorcerer's Stone, the Wiz- chess. Wizard's Chess. Yes, Wizard's way. Chess, which is, I mean, which, which I only related to that because of Blake, Yang, and Weiss having to take part, and cause because they had to in that yeah. challenge. But no, what I was meaning was is when we did our analysis of the pictures, mm-hmm. where I we all only saw Weiss, <laughs> Blake, and Yang, and you said where's Little? I bet Little was on the other side yeah, where probably. she was sitting. So. Yeah. Also, that reminds me, someone pointed out on Twitter the other day of this scene, it looks like a chessboard. It kind of does. Or, a che- or you know, if you want to say a checkered board or something like that. Here we get a, looks like a, a slightly better look at ev- of Ever After. We've got volcanoes, we got mountainous areas back here, um... We Every got, section is floating by itself. Oh, I I just did know. I just now noticed that it's like separate little islands. This looks like a layered <sighs> cake. Y- Yggdrasil sits at the center of the nine realms. One, two, three, four. There's at least almost six. This has got. I think a... there's nine because this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe seven. There's got to be eight or nine because there's sections behind because there's different. This is based off of just all the Norse mythology, like Asgard, Midgard. Oh, you, like oh my gosh, I think we're on to something here. Anyway, um, Ruby on the beach. We've seen this is like one of the first things we got to see for Volume Nine, and we got the Cheshire Cat and. I didn't say it in the in the reaction, but I heard what he said. He said, "I f- feel a butt coming or something," and his butt comes out <laughs> and attaches to himself. So that's good old Ruby humor for you, right there. Um, so is he going to be an ally, or because it seems like in some scenes that he is accompanying Ruby. Like down the stair, like the... Well, that, but um, there's a part where Ruby is standing. We'll get to it. Um, next one is Blake trying to grab Gamble that is... I'm guessing this is before they got... When Before they got what? trapped in the vines. What's got her hand? Is that coconuts? Oh my gosh, the Blake, the Blake coconuts are turning on her. <laughs> <laughs> um... But, but I think this is before that she ends up getting wrapped up. So has she already ran into Weiss here? Because remember, Weiss had Gamble. So. Or when Weiss fell, that's where she, that could have landed. Just so happened to find it. Um, here, I mean, it's possible. This scene, the cat is with Ruby. Um, and that's a very beautiful looking shot. That is gorgeous, whatever that is. Yeah, it is. But it's got a, <clears throat> um, a water lily at the top. Yeah, and you've got all these other little... These must be sentient beings, whatever they are. But uh, I guess they're just the people that... L- or the, the, the beings. beings that live... Because they look like... Some, most of them look like toys. Yeah. Babes in Toyland, maybe, like I said. This this place could be a... Con- uh, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's definitely a combination of things. Yeah. Now, this is another shot that they showed, and this is gorgeous. I don't know what the, these things look, these floating lights or whatever, they almost look sci-fi, something out of a sci-fi thing. Um, now, they did release this the other day, and right there, the cat is watching and following Ruby. Um, I said in, on Twitter, look, the Cheshire cat is being very well like a cat. Yeah. <laughs> Um, let's, 
Now here, I think the cat said something very f- funny. How the tree comes to you unless you're him. Unless you're me, yeah. Yeah, so he is the key, I guess, to getting to the tree and getting out. Could he be re- Could he be a connection to the relics? Or the spirits that live in the relics? He could be because of his, like... Because, yeah, he's got a unique coloring, and, I mean, it matches, the like, the whole world, but the blue. The yeah. glow of that color blue is very significant, we've <laughs> noticed, through anything relic-related. Yeah. So, here we've got Small Yang and Small Blake riding on <laughs> Ruby's shoulder. And, same as always, I noticed in the trailer... Blake always reacts when Yang talks. Yeah. Like she just always does. Um, once again, Yang looking very done with yeah. all of this. So, yeah. <laughs> this is that pile of leaves that's in the mushroom forest. And some eyes pop out. It looked like it had three eyes. Yes. And asks, who are you? Or, you know, what are you? Same thing that Little asked Ruby. What are you? Um, so I don't know, this could be maybe something like the Caterpillar, or who knows. Um, okay, this next one is Yang. Okay, so now we know where Yang is. She is like literally in the middle of a storm on a rickety bridge that looks like it's about to fall apart. I think this might be something that connects those areas. Maybe. I thought this was a tornado at first, but it looks like a column. Um, here you get a better shot of the clouds and all that. Yeah, I, I don't it's know. It's a column, because look, you can see yeah. the lines in it. But I wonder, is this, like, really an actual place, or is this Yang's state of mind is that's reflecting? Because there's, there's a really strong theory that the, this place, we now know it's not exactly an island. It is several land masses all together. Like I mean, it could be a state of mind, emotions. or this could be what's below all of those land masses. Maybe. Like, that could be the in-between. <laughs> now, this right here is big. This is Beacon Era Ruby talking to Ruby now in what looks like despair. This looks like depression. It really does. Um, so maybe this is, like, who Ru- back when Ruby was more... You know, like, you know, how Ruby used to be, how she is now. Maybe this is her path. I don't know. I'll have to think a little bit more on what this could mean. So we get the same shot of Neo, but she transforms into Ruby. What could this mean? Is she going to met? Is she going to just stay as Ruby and try and mess with everyone? Like, does she even care where she's at? <laughs> like... We don't know. They're they're being very uh, um, quiet about Neo's role. We've seen this before. You know, this is def like Ruby knows by this point. Um, <clears throat> and of course, she's holding something that would remind her of Penny. Um, then we've got this character. I have no idea who this could be. I don't know. Looks like some kind of blacksmith, maybe. It almost looks blacksmith. like blacksmith robot? Yeah, it looks like they've got like robotic implants or whatever, like in Cyberpunk. It's kind of weird. Um, so we've seen this. We've already went over this. They go, they, they show us I did not notice in that shot that it kind of looks like Weiss might be crying. Um, but I can't tell. I know that one right there is her scar. But uh, then we have this picture of Yang missing her arm. Um, looking very tired. I guess she's been chasing after Probably chasing it for a while, since she probably <laughs> noticed or saw it being taken. So I, guess, so I guess this means they all reunite before Yang loses her arm, because when she was alone in that cloud area, she still had her arm. So I guess that all... Because ha- remember, these trailers usually show like the first three or so episodes, so... <laughs> okay, I did not notice this. That is the three-eyed thing. That does not look like a caterpillar. Uh, it looks like a mixture of things. This but could it ain't be looking good. <laughs> uh, this this could be like the Jabberwocky or something. I only know about that because I had to sing that song in choir in high school. But um, 
Yeah, I, I don't know what to think about that. Then you got th this thing. <laughs> I don't know. The glow. What? The glow from its eyes. So what, you think it's like winter or something? No, but like Ooh, the color, like... the the blue glow that yeah. another connection to ah, the okay. relics. Okay, yeah, I see where you're going now. I'm trying to get this one thing on screen. Because we've seen it before. Keep going a little further. This, yeah. this thing, I have no idea what role this thing is going to play. And it looks like some kind of, like, based off an Egyptian god or something, almost. Because it looks mixed very Egyptian like, to me, in a way. Mixed with, like, the Predator or something. <laughs> like, the way that the mask looks. Okay, so, in this, all the chess pieces get flung away, including... Ru and including Yang, Blake, and Weiss. I don't know if this means that Ruby lost or... I don't... Look, look at that form in the background. That is the Queen of Hearts. The only thing... only reason I could think that the table would get flung is if the Ruby was winning and the Queen was pissed off. <laughs> and this is the chess pieces fighting. Okay, yeah, I saw this. I'm... Ugh. That's creepy. I'm trying to get a good, better look at this. Cause, and then there's that. That's some kind of axe with a trigger. So that's definitely an axe gun of some kind. Huh. It's also a gun. Yeah. <laughs> this looks like some kind of the white rabbit, maybe. But someone's riding it. I see boots. I'm trying to get a better shot of it, but I'm not doing a very good job. I can't I, tell, like... I saw boots. I know I did. Eh. Darn it. Oh, well. We'll, uh... We'll go... We'll, the episodes will be out in less than a month. This is creepy. So, a crown. Is this the version of the queen? Is queen? that the queen? Yeah. And, like, did is she breaking because Ruby won, or... It's possible, because, I mean, think about it. It would add up to her freaking out. Then we get this shot of Yang again, and there's thunder and all that, it looks like. And then it, it, I love how it goes from Yang to Blake with, like, the banana vines. You can vine things, yeah. Yeah, which we've already seen. And, of course, you can see in the back that, yes, Ruby, they all reunite before all this wackiness, I guess, starts to happen. Um <clears throat> I still can't tell if Yang is looking at Ruby or if she's watching Blake. It's hard to tell. <laughs> it's that d general direction, though. We at least yeah. know that. We've seen this clip of Weiss. Um, she's definitely crying. And then it is followed by Ruby reacting and then passing out. So this could very well be where Weiss tells them that Penny is gone. Which is, is going to suck. That is... Um, hmm. What? Her passing out could lead her into that despair yeah, scene. Yeah, maybe. Um, I know we saw Salem at some point. I don't know what role Salem is going to be in, is going to have in this. Um, maybe like a nightmare-like deal or something. Um, and I also remember seeing Yang riding that Egyptian thing and punching it in the head. So it's. I'm guessing it's going to be a, a foe of some kind. Um, I love the Volume 9 logo. I think it's really awesome. Um, they released it before the trailer, and I, I made a tweet saying this logo slaps, and it's gotten, like, a lot of attention. <laughs> um, so there we go. February 18th. Guys, that is less than a month away. I hope I have my computer back by that time. Um, <clears throat> so I know there's a few things we missed, um, cause I hate it when in trailers things go by so quickly, cause you can't catch everything. Um, oh wait, did they not, I could have sworn they showed a picture of Blake. Could have sworn they did. Oh well. But, um, if, if they did, we'll go over it in another video or something. Um, but yeah. That was our reaction and analysis of the Ruby Volume 9 trailer coming in February. 
18th, 2023. Cannot wait. It's going to be really odd it being on Crunchyroll. But, um, <clears throat> hey, we'll do what we got to do to bring it to you guys. But, um, not a very long video. Not as long as our most of our analysis are. But it's a 1 minute and 44 trailer. We can only talk about so much. But, um, theories to come. I'm sure. I'm sure we'll do a few videos on stuff that's in this trailer. But, um, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, click that like button, leave a com comment. We are really, really wanting to try and hit a thousand subscribers this year with Ruby coming back. I'm hoping that is really in our grasp. As always, guys, this is Kanan. This is Jesse. We love you all very, very much. Stay safe out there. Take care of yourselves. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.